Well, I think having the research there um, causes certain interactions that you might not see otherwise. And so I think that having the touchscreen there and them engaging this research is a very unique situation. Um, well, I think other zoos do, they do implement these devices. Um, it's still not super common and you don't see it at many zoos. Um, and so I think that kind of like what I said before about depending on where they are in the hierarchy, it can affect their interactions for who gets to play the game and when. Um, and so I notice a lot of aggression, especially when there are two males that are maybe at a similar spot in their hierarchy and they're both interested in the game um, and they'll break out in a big fight or I've also seen the, there are some really submissive baboons in the troop that really enjoy playing the game, but they don't usually get the opportunity when the more dominant baboons are playing. And so they'll typically kind of try to sneak in and start playing while the other ones are occupied or if they're inside. But you can tell that they're submissive by the way that they play because the whole time they're constantly like checking their surroundings um, and they're very paranoid looking around because as soon as someone more dominant than them shows up, like they want to leave as like they want to get away from there because they don't want to end up in a situation where they make that baboon upset.